on the path to forgetting by Reddit user Garnet and Opal. All those anal probes must have worked out for the aliens, because when they got here, they knew exactly how we tick. In less than 48 hours, they had us under their control. It was a three-pronged attack. First, they took out our weapons and all of our technology with an EMP. Second, they bombed every country's capital city. No one could escape. The people and government officials in each of those cities died. Then, they blanketed the Earth with a high-altitude cloud, dimming the sun. The aliens let us know they weren't here to hurt us, just govern us as we deserved. They removed the cloud and restored 10% of the electrical grids. Because of the low power, we had to choose whether to light our homes or heat them, whether to cook food or light our homes. The aliens gave us another choice, too. We got to choose what we want to remember, which was the same as letting us choose what to forget. After we made our selections, we were supposed to show up at a reclamation center and undergo their process. The sweet part was that they gave us a timeline, alphabetically. They spun it as a show of generosity and understanding. We all didn't have to give up our memories all at once. We could take some time to choose, and then their process would take a few days for each of the people to complete. Then they would call the next batch of people to come forward and be reclaimed. I saw what happened with my dad. The unfortunate bastard's name is Alan, so he was in the first batch of people to be reclaimed. Why do I call him a bastard? He chose to forget his family. He chose to forget everything except his sexual encounters. I saw his form before he left. I saw him when he got back three days later. He was a walking pervert. He couldn't keep his mouth shut about his sexcapades, and he couldn't keep his hands to himself. Everything I loved about Dad was gone. All the people who came back after reclamation were pathetic. One of our neighbors gained over 200 pounds because all he remembered was cake. Another one sat and cried about her pet puppy when she was a kid because all she remembered was patches. But my brother came back with an insatiable appetite for weed. He was dead within a week. It wasn't the weed that killed him. It was the lack of eating. He forgot how to eat. My name is Zachary. I still have a week and a half or so to wait before I'm reclaimed. I have my form all ready. I'm choosing to forget my humanity. I only want to remember how to kill. And then I'm going to kill every god alien I can get hold of before they take me down. Today, I am being joined by the Reddit user Garnet and Opal. Thank you for joining us on I Found It on Reddit, Phoenix. Thank you for inviting me. The research I do for just a story that's 500 words, mm. because I may be setting it in Iowa or something, I've never been there. Right. So I start looking up maps and looking up pictures of highways to make sure I'm getting the straight piece of highway or highway with a median strip. You have to like, cause someone's going to, someone's going to Google it. Someone's going to find out. Yep. Not just because they're going to find out, but having it be accurate is also a plus in people's minds as well. Mm hmm. And you write about it with more familiarity if you've seen it. Yes. So you have to invest something of yourself in the learning, whatever it is that you're doing. Yes. Yes. And then not show the nuts and bolts of it. If in a story you say, well, on the map, mm -hmm. that's it. You're done. That's it. <laughs> that's all. 
I mean, if you really want to get into that 500 word limit, you can just say, <laughs> but, you know, saying what is actually on that road or how that road is or what the temperature is or how crappy the car is that you're driving in so much better. It makes it all real 